In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python on your Mac computer. Installing Python, of course, is a prerequisite for continuing with this particular crash course. As you can see here, I've navigated to anaconda.com forward slash download, and that brings up the free download page for the Anaconda distribution of Python. Now I'm going to make an assumption here that you're not that familiar with Python. You probably know that Python is a programming language. I'm going to talk more about this in a subsequent video. Python is actually quite complicated, to be completely honest, to install and maintain on your local laptop or your local desktop machine. So Anaconda is a company that provides a value-added service. What they've done is they've taken the base Python programming language and then combine it with a bunch of Python libraries that you need to do analytics and data science, or using their catchphrase here, everything you need to get started in data science on your workstation. Thousands of the most fundamental data science, AI, and ML packages. So Anaconda is a great way to get started with Python because it installs everything basically that you need in one simple install experience. And they have installers for Windows and for Mac and for Linux. So what I'm going to do, of course, is install Anaconda right here on my Mac laptop and show you how to do it in case you're using the Mac operating system. What you can see here is the website has automatically detected that I'm running Mac and it says, hey, do you want to download the installer? Now here's the thing though. You have to click on this down arrow here because there are two types of silicon available. So if you're running an older Mac computer, you probably have silicon or a CPU made by Intel. If you have a newer Apple computer, you probably have Apple silicon. So you would want to choose the installer appropriate for your particular Macintosh hardware. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one because my laptop is running Apple Silicon. And what will happen is it'll say, hey, Dave, where do you want to install or where do you want to download, excuse me, the installer? So I'm just going to go ahead and accept downloading the installer to my downloads folder. So I'll go ahead and click save here. And that will take almost no time at all to download. The installation package is pretty small on Mac, especially compared to Windows. And if you can see right here, here is my downloaded package. So if I click on that, that will start up the installer. And I will say, okay, yes, I will allow the installer to work on my computer here. And what we're going to do here is just go through the dialog here real quick. So continue. So you want to definitely check out the readme and you definitely want to check out the license because I need to give you a little bit of legalese <laughs> I'm a, and I apologize for that. Anaconda is free for educational purposes. You can install Anaconda Python and use it totally free of charge for educational purposes and you're good to go. If you decide to use Anaconda for production applications, be sure to read the licensing agreement to make sure that you're in compliance or contact Anaconda and ask them directly. Okay, so CYA done. I'll just go ahead and click continue because we're using this for educational purposes. And then I'll say, hey, install for me only. That's probably the default that you're gonna use most of the time. And notice here that it's gonna take up 4.81 gigabytes of space on my computer. You know, Anaconda is a big chunk of software. That's okay, I'm gonna go ahead and install. I got plenty of space. And it's gonna go ahead and start running through the installer. And what I'm gonna do here is pause the video because this will actually take a little bit of time. Anaconda has installed on my Macintosh. And what it does is it fires up something called Anaconda Navigator, which is a handy dandy utility that we're gonna be using throughout this crash course for working with a technology known as Jupyter Notebooks. Now what's happened here is the Anaconda Navigator application checked its version and said, look, the version you have installed, Dave, is not the most up to date. Would you like to update Anaconda Navigator? So if you see this dialogue, and you may or may not, depending on what time you watch this video, if you do, definitely click yes. And what it's going to do is say, hey, do you want to quit Anaconda because we need to update it, Anaconda Navigator? I'll say yes, and then I will then click update now so that I can update my Anaconda Navigator. And once again, this will take a minute or two, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video while this is running. All right, my Anaconda Navigator has been updated. Normally what we would do now is launch Navigator, but in this case, we don't need to launch Navigator because we need to install a package that's not part of the Anaconda distribution that we are going to use in this course. So I will go ahead and dismiss this, and go ahead and click continue, and go ahead and click close. And I'll move it to the trash, yeah, why not? So we've got the base Anaconda distribution installed 
on my Mac now. So I have access to the Python programming language in many, many libraries that are used commonly in Python for analytics and data science. But one of the things I would like to use in this particular crash course is a library known as Plot9. And Plot9 is a data visualization library that's really, really simple to use and extremely powerful. So the way that we install that is we fire up our terminal. So I've got my terminal right here on my dock. If you don't have the terminal located, you can always search for it on your Mac and get it. And I'm going to go ahead and click terminal to start it up. Now what I'm going to do is expand this window a little bit so that you can see it. And what we're going to do now is use a utility that comes with the Anaconda Python distribution for downloading and managing our libraries, our packages. And this is great because, as I said earlier, it's kind of a pain to do all this stuff in Python. So we're going to type conda. That's the name of the utility. Conda manages all of your Anaconda packages and libraries on your machine. And we're going to say, hey, conda, I would like to install. And what we need to do is go to a particular repository, also known as a channel. So we use dash C for that, and it's called conda forge. And then we say what library we would like, and it's plot nine. In case you're curious, plot nine is a port of a famous data visualization library known as ggplot2 in the R programming language to Python, and it's super sweet. So while I've got this all typed in, I just hit enter. And what's going to happen behind the scenes is that Conda is going to go check all of the stuff that I got installed on my laptop and then run it against plot nine to find whether or not it needs to update packages and libraries or download new ones, all that stuff. So as long as you see this little rotating forward slash here, you know it's working. And it, sometimes it takes a while, but in this case it didn't. And it tells me that I'm going to download some new packages for you, Dave. I'm going to update this package so on and so forth. Do you, would you like to proceed? And the answer is, heck yeah, I'd like to proceed. So I type in Y and hit enter, and then everything gets downloaded. Good to go. Everything that I need for this course is now installed on my Mac. So I have Jupyter Notebooks, I have Python, I have Plot9, I have a whole bunch of data science-y related libraries like Pandas and so on and so forth. So next up in this tutorial series, the next video will be part two, where I'm gonna talk more about what is Python. So be sure to check out that video. If you like what you're seeing, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, forward it on or recommend it to your friends and colleagues. Until next time, stay healthy and happy data sleuthing.